name is Shanna and today I'm here doing my September movie and television wrap up for 2019. Originally I wasn't going to film a wrap up because by the time we got to like the 28th of September I had only watched one or two films and one TV show so I was kind of like it's not really enough to do a wrap up and then I had a day very late I think it was the last Saturday in September. I watched like five movies that day. It was kind of ridiculous so I realized I now have enough movies on here to do a wrap up which is fantastic. So I watched eight movies in the month of September. One movie I watched twice which is quite funny but it's a thing that I do you all know this and I watched two TV shows. So the first TV show I watched in September was the first season of Another Life on Netflix which I gave two out of five stars. This was a show that it was a science fiction but it didn't know what it wanted to do. It was trying to be every science fiction film ever created and it didn't really succeed but by the end of it I was absolutely hooked. So I started the show and it was terrible. It's a terrible show. The characters are whiny and awful and just so stupid. The plot makes zero sense. Literally no sense whatsoever. None of the episodes really like interact with each other. It's just it's terrible. Badly written. Bad show. But it's a addictive okay by the end of the season I needed to know how it was going to end and I kind of need there to be a second season I'm positive there won't be the show has like six percent on Rotten Tomatoes or something Netflix is not in a million years going to make a second season but I need a second season because it ended on the biggest cliffhanger and I just need to know why and where they were going and I need to know if it gets any better so the second TV show that I watched in the month of September were the first four seasons of the US Office. I gave this a four out of five stars. This is my first time watching the US version of The Office but I can't get into the UK version. I have tried a couple of times now and I just, I don't love it. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't love the US one when I started it either. It literally took until about season three before I really started to enjoy it. The characters are pretty all right. Uh, it's it's pretty funny, I will give it that. But the first two seasons, I was kind of like, uh, why am I watching this? And now, by the time I got to the end of the fourth season, I was like, yeah, all right, now I sort of know why I'm watching it. But at the same time, it was, definitely a drag to start off with. Those are actually the only two TV shows that I watched in the month of September so now we are going to move straight on to the movies. So the first movie that I watched in September is the movie that I watched twice and that is It Chapter 2. I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars and it's quite funny. So my sister and I went and saw it on Friday the 13th which was a full moon. So we were sort of like oof we made a bad decision and then we went and saw the film when we came out of it and we were like it wasn't even scary. There were a few jump scares for sure which is something that you expect coming from the horror genre. You expect jump scares but you also expect there to be this atmospheric scary presence in the film that like terrifies you to your core. We didn't get that. In fact it was kind of amusing. So I still maintain Pennywise is at his scariest when he is just being a normal clown singing at you. He does that in this film and it is hands down one of the scariest parts of the film because he's just singing and I'm like Whoa. the scariest part in the film for me was under the bleachers which if any of y'all have seen the film you'll know exactly what part I'm talking about but under the bleachers that and the very beginning bit on the bridge those were the two scariest parts of the film for me and if you've seen it I think you'll understand why. In saying that though this film was really enjoyable I did enjoy seeing it to the point where I had to go and see it again because I couldn't get it out of my head. There is one thing in particular that I'm really 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 disappointed about with the film. It has to do with representation and while they sort of got there they didn't take that extra step and I think if they had I would have enjoyed the film a lot more than what I did. I absolutely loved the adult cast. I thought they were absolutely perfect for the characters that they were playing. Like they, they, they are. They are absolutely perfect. I love them, love them, love them to pieces. I remember the first time I realised who Ben was my jaw kind of dropped 
up, my sister and I looked at each other and were like, that's Ben. Damn! <laughs> also, somehow, the film had time for a love triangle, which I was sort of like, you're trying to battle this, like, evil clown from out of space and you have a love triangle? Yes, that is exactly what I would have done with this film. But overall, I really enjoyed it. It is not scary. That There are a few jump scares, 100%, but, like, overall, the film is not scary at all, apart from those two big things that I was talking about. So, unless you have a super intense clown phobia, I recommend watching the films because like the two It movies, I do recommend them. They're really quite good. I recommend watching them back to back because I think that's how they should be watched. But unless you have a big clown phobia, you're unlikely to get scared. So the second film that I watched in September was a rewatch and that was Disney's Aladdin, the 2019 version. I gave this one a five out of five stars. I love this film so much. I literally made my mum drive to JB Hi-Fi on the way home from work the day it was released so I could go pick it up because I just loved it so much. I watched it that night. It's amazing. Pretty sure I've done a full movie review on it, which I will leave linked in the description box below if you would like to check it out. If I haven't done a review, which I am like 95% sure that I have, basically I loved it, loved the songs, love Aladdin and Jasmine and everything about the movie. It's glorious. Go watch it. Third film that I watched in the month of September was another rewatch and that was High School Musical, which I actually gave a five out of five stars. I haven't watched High School Musical in the longest time and re-watching it, like I still know all the words to every song because it's High School Musical and it's good. It, it's one of the best Disney Channel original films I think they have ever done. It's got a really simple storyline but it's also one that is so important. It's the idea of being true to who you are and being yourself and not trying to change who you are just to fit in with everybody else. It's weird. It's got like a really weirdly important message for a Disney Channel film and I love it. I love it to pieces. Fourth film that I watched in the month of September was another rewatch and that was High School Musical 2. I was having a little bit of a marathon. I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. I really really like High School Musical 2. I think the songs are a bit of a step up from High School Musical and also High School Musical 2 has like the best memes to come out of it. Like all the bet on me memes with the this and everything. It's just, it's brilliant. I loved it. I really 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 enjoyed rewatching it. Fifth film I watched in the month of September was High School Musical 3 Senior Year. I literally had a marathon and I would give this one a 5 out of 5 stars as well. It is a Disney Channel original film which doesn't count as a decom because it actually came out in cinemas. The songs are so much bigger, the production value is so much bigger and I think this film in particular shows why the High School Musical franchise has endured over the years. I mean the first one came out in 2006. The first one came out 13 years ago people. So I think this film is a real example of why the High School Musical franchise has stuck with so many people. I adore the Descendants, Teen Beach Movie, Camp Rock and Zombies franchises but nothing can beat High School Musical and I don't think Disney is ever going to be able to beat High School Musical. Sixth film that I watched this month was another rewatch and that was Maleficent which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. Being that Maleficent Mistress of Evil comes out in October I decided to rewatch the original film because I'm pretty sure I've watched it once when it came me out so I didn't remember anything. I was literally laying in bed and I was watching it and I'm sitting there going, I remember none of this. <laughs> in saying that though, it's a really simple film. Not a lot happens externally plot wise but so much happens internally in terms of Maleficent's character growth and character development. Literally so much happens there and it's so good. I really really enjoyed the film. Visually it is stunning. Angelina Jolie is the perfect Maleficent and she's brilliant and fantastic and I cannot praise her for it enough. Elle Fanning is a brilliant Aurora as well. She just captured that innocence so 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 well and oh, I have a lot of love for Disney and for this film and I'm really really looking forward to seeing Mistress of Evil later in October. Seventh film that I watched in September was Avalon High which I gave a three out of five stars. So Avalon High is another Disney Channel original film and it follows the character of Ali who moves to a new town and starts to realize that everyone in it are reincarnations of characters from the Arthurian legend and she has to sort of figure 
out a way to save Arthur from Mordred. That is the basic plot of the film. And it's not a good film. Like, in terms of Disney Channel original films, it, it's on, like, the lower end of the spectrum. But I'm obsessed with the Arthurian legend, so I'm, A, a little surprised that I've never seen the film because it is the Arthurian legend, and B, it meant I had a bit of a soft spot for it. I just love the Arthurian legend to pieces. I, I think it's amazing and fantastic and just I love everything about it. I really really do. And then the eighth and final movie that I watched in September was Invisible Sister which I gave a three out of five stars. This was another Disney Channel original film that I didn't get around to seeing when it first came out and I have finally watched it now. It follows a girl named Cleo. She accidentally turns her older sister invisible and the two of them have to sort of go about their day trying to figure out how to turn her sister visible again while also dealing with their own individual problems. I did really like this one. I thought it was very well done. It was this really short film. It was like 74 minutes long. It was so short it was ridiculous but I did really enjoy it. I thought the characters were pretty well fleshed out for a Disney film and I thought that the overarching storyline of our main character was something that a lot of kids especially could sort of relate to in this day and age and for that I thought it did a really 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 good job. So there we go. Those are the two TV shows and eight films that I watched in the month of September. I surprisingly had a fairly decent month considering the whole I had only watched like this much by the last weekend of September. I started a full-time job so I don't get a chance to watch movies as much anymore. It's very sad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you watched this month because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.